Introducing Cheyenne's new 74-inch compact tractor snowblower, providing even more height at 27 inches high. With the industry's first concentric access design and other standard features, the 600CT puts the snow where you want it. For more information on the Cheyenne Compact Tractor Snowblower, visit CheyenneMFG.com. We'll try and plan in for the whole year, uh, month by month, different promotions to run each month, um, set a budget for where we think we need to be. We do separate our budget, ag from LPO, rural lifestyle, residential. We, we separate those two budgets. Um, it's a different market, you know, different venues we need to, to Different look approaches. At. Yeah. So, and we review that monthly, see where we're at, and try and focus our campaigns during, obviously, certain times of the year. Be a little heavier in the market. And yeah. You have to adjust, you know, in times like this with weather maybe be playing a bigger role this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we've adjusted some of that, and mm -hmm. it's, she's been a, a, a very good help to both her and I. And, and she also ties it in with the major manufacturer programs. So John Deere, for example, has deer season, uh, which is their big uh, uh, commercial consumer equipment promotion, uh, and so they tie in the advertising along with that, utilize co-op dollars to the best of our advantage and things like that. She also helps facilitate the, um, you know, our ladies night that we have at this facility in, in Jackson. Um, open houses that we've had, we've had some different, I know it's referenced in there, but some different horse enthusiast events. Um, you know, it helps to help us think out of the box maybe and what would draw some of those folks in. We, we've had three of them here at this facility, um, and then we, after a couple of years on our boat, we did did one in Jackson as well, which was great. But, um, you know, again, I was astounded at the at the first event we had. We had about 90 people, mm -hmm. and I asked for a raise of hands how many people it was their first time in this store, and probably 80 percent of people said it was their first time in here. Which, if you can get 80 people, yeah, that's a, that's one a tremendous night success yeah. in your store. Mm -hmm. and, and we have sold stuff off it. You know, they usually follow up that weekend with our open house, and mm -hmm. so they come back and, and purchased equipment. And it, it's been just a, a really great event for us. And we involve other businesses in the community that we ask to come in and take part with us. Locally here, there's a, a King W Greenery, which is a, a large nursery stock and garden center. They've come out, and then a basics co-op, a health food co-op here in town. They've come out, and it's it's been well, I think, for for all of us to work together. We'd split it up because of the different um, people that came in as well. We'd split them up into four different groups, and they have 25-minute rotations in all those groups. Um, <coughs> for instance, the nursery would go over, you know, spring planting ideas, go through different tips with that. The co-op would uh, go over uh, health, how, to eat or, how to eat organic and the benefits of eating organic. And people loved that, that mm -hmm. one. We'd have a ride and drive outside where we had um, our representatives from Skag would come here. Mm -hmm. They set up tent with the ride and drive area and you know some of these ladies were just scared to death. You know, zero yeah. yeah. But they did, and they, I mean, they just had a hoot holler in time. <laughs> you hear squeals from people out of those things. <laughs> and, the, uh, the environment was such that they weren't, yeah, it's intimidating to get on a zero turn for the first time, and many of these ladies had never driven a zero turn, but now some of them own zero turns. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they come in the dealership with their husband, and the salesperson asks them, do you want to drive this? No, no, I don't want to drive that. Mm -hmm. But no husbands? you know, just company people, their friends along or something like that, they were not afraid to get on there. That was one of the most popular, uh, most popular rotations. There was people came back twice and did it. And then we had extra time and then they're like, you know, anybody want to do anything else? And they want to drive the zero. <laughs> so. uh, and then we had a rotation with our service staff, you know, tips and tricks on basic maintenance of your lawnmower. 
gotta check the oil and change the filter out, leveling mm -hmm. the deck, you know, how to do stuff like that. So, I mean, it was a great, great event. Um, this year we did a little different. We didn't have it in the spring. We are gonna have one here in the fall. Um, so for winterization of your equipment, how to do that. Um, you know, maintenance packages that we sell that can help them either get their mower deck off, get their snow attachments on, how to maintain their snow attachments. Mm -hmm. um, and then working with our other local people as well, more around a, a winter theme, just to try and change it up a little bit so it didn't get monotonous for us.